So my name is Officer Jason Plicta. Um, I'm a member of the Marion Police Department, and this is my partner, Paul Officer Gary. Um, we're actually here today talking about the therapy cannon program that we started here. Mm -hmm. So about, I've been a police officer about 14 years. Um, I came up from the Chicago land area, uh, transplanted down here about three years ago, started up with Marion PD. Uh, back in 2020, I went to what's called a CIT conference, a crisis intervention team training conference. Uh, they were doing a presentation there. Um, um, Lieutenant up from the University of Illinois, Aaron Landers, I was doing a canine therapy dog presentation actually, specifically. Um, never heard about it before, always loved having dogs growing up, so I figured this would be an awesome way to kind of bring together, you know, my love for dogs and animals along with, you know, being able to address it with police. Um, once we went to the program, learned about the mental health aspects of it, the community relations aspects of it, um, just all the positive positivity that comes from being able to address you know, mental health and community relations with a dog that's, you know, not aggressive, not the typical police dog that people think of, but just something that people come in and just looking at and makes you smile. So I was fortunate enough with Gary, so when Lieutenant Landers was doing his presentation, he spoke of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. They have a place called the Paws and Stripes College um, down in Florida. So what they do down there is they actually take applicants who want to become therapy cannon handlers um, and actually utilize dogs from their shelter, whether they're stray dogs, owner surrender dogs, stuff like that. Um, we fill out a bunch of paperwork, basically telling them what we're going to be doing. So I told them, you know, where Gary would be working, all the way down from preschools, all the way up to the elderly, um, the type of community we are, you know, a little bit urban, but still kind of rural um, setting, just so that they kind of have an understanding as to what type of dog would be best suited for the department or for the community. So what they do then is they actually go through a training program. Um, they use inmates from the sheriff's office down there in the jail, and the inmates are actually the ones that train the dogs to go out and work with the police departments and the police officers. Um, what their goal is to kind of help reduce the recidivism rate um, with those inmates and also try to help the dogs that are in the shelters get out and get adopted, the ones that don't go to police departments. This is what he does. Like, he's just a big lug. He loves being petted on. He loves, you know, making friends with people. And, you know, we go to the schools all the time. All the kids love him at the schools. We go to the, the rehab facilities in the elderly community. They love seeing him there. Other first responders. We visited in about patients in the hospitals, you know, the inpatients there. Uh, we've done a bunch of stuff with Special Olympics, you know, the cop on top. We've actually gone to Special Olympics you know, in the community over here. So, you know, we love getting out in the community, um, you know, and bridging the gap, you know, that's unfortunately been made a little negative uh, with what's going on in the world today. So we're trying to break down those walls and kind of get the community to understand that we are here to help, you know, and the other aspect is addressing mental health. Um, you know, by bringing Gary into the schools, you know, kids are more able to open up, more willing to open up and talk to us, you know, about problems that they're having, you know, hopefully that the police can help them. You know, so we figure by addressing the mental health early that hopefully we can get a lot of these people that, you know, end up turning to the negative, you know, aspects of maybe drugs or alcohol to try to cope with their problems, to try to be able to, you know, to talk to us and maybe get resources that we can provide them to go out and get help. Marion Subaru is proud to initiate our Subaru Loves Pets campaign. This is to give exposure to all the underdogs and cats in Southern Illinois. 